GJ people, this is Champino here, welcome you guys to episode number 7 of the Pokemon Sweet Nuzlocke, that's sweet Nuzlocke. If you guys are excited for this episode, and of course you're a proud member of the Shark Squad, and it's Athens Creek, and the Snappy Nation, make sure you leave a button down below for us because as always, your support is greatly appreciated. In the last episode, you guys, we did a double header of a gym battle. We took on Fizzy of Orange City, and we took on Bear and Lamb of Morang City. And unfortunately, though, we did lose one Poker Sweep in the process. Rest in peace, Cupcat. But, in this episode, we're going to make our way onto the SSN of this uh, game here. So let's go ahead and have a look at our team and see what we're rocking with. I trained up. Choco Wool, uh, now Choco Fluff, in this episode over here, well, during the break. So we've got a Calm Natured, which is eh, not the best because Cherry and Chocolate are both physical, I'm pretty sure, based off its moves and everything. And it has Tackle, Mud Pie, Rock Candy, which is like Rock Blast, which is so busted in this game here. And Quick Attack, and it's just pretty OP. Then we have Mintonite, um, then we have Radicake, Birdsaw, Chocosaur and that cream tuff. So without further ado, let's get this episode started! So like I said, so we did two gyms in a row in the last episode. We pick up some nice berries over here, thank you very much. But now let's head south now to this this uh, boat here because uh, the storyline is once you do the boat, this guy goes away. It looks like a member of Team Aqua, but it's pink, so it's not. The SS Banana is docked here. It's a luxury cruise ship. Ah, oh, so it's the SS Banana in this game. Do we need a ticket? Welcome aboard the SS Banana. There's always a party going. Everyone's invited. Always. Sounds like my kind of party. Let's go. We are in the SS Banana. The passengers are restless from their long voyage. You might be challenged by the more bored ones. That's about right. Let's go have a look down here first. Let's have a look at this SS Banana. And we got a Hyper Potion! Hey, pull. Actually, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. I don't think we have any items. No. Oh, we got Snow Pops. But we could go ahead and buy some uh, Antidotes and Paralyzed Heals. That would be nice. That would be nice because, you know, you just never know when you'd be stuck in a pickle. So we're going to go ahead and head back up here, head to the Mart. A Mart. Or the shop in this case, and say Mart. And let's go ahead and buy some stuff. So, sweet balls. How many do we have? We have five. Let's buy five more. Five should be good. Uh, we don't need potions. We've got the lemonades, which we bought off that chick there. Antidotes. Let's buy five antidotes. I think it's always good just to have five of everything. I think, except burn heals. Burn heals are not really a thing. It's only really these things here. And ice heals. Yeah, no, you're never going to get frozen. When, when's that going to happen? And that should be all. So let's head back to the the, um, the SS Banana in this game here. So we're going to head here and question for today is what is your favorite type in this game here? Well, I mean type, I mean, I didn't say specifically this game or in general, but you guys already know that Dark is my favorite type. So I was actually more talking about this game. What is your favorite type? And honestly, super potion, there you go. Uh, my favorite type of this game has to be Cherry. Honestly, a lot of my favorite Pokemon, all the best ones anyways, they're all Cherry types. Um, the only thing is the legendaries like Newberry and all that, they are not uh, that way. Come on then, my sailor's pride is a stake. Arrgh! Alright, so we're taking on a sailor over here. Ahoy, ahoy, me and matey. Three Pokemon Chef Duncan with a lamb drop and a cube pop. Oh, the cube pop. Lamb drop though, that was from the uh, gym there. But we are way over level. I think we're supposed to do this first before we um, go on that there. Let's go for a rock candy on the cube pop and let's go for a... That'd be lemon, so... Let's go for a water gun, see if that is super effective. Rock candy goes through. Ooh, it's super effective! Oh damn! Rock candy taking that cube pop down! Oh da damn! Down it goes. Alright! So we've got Chuck Fluff there, Miss Knight there, goody good good. Next Pokemon to come out is a Flame Goose. Flame Goose. And a Water Gun, the same as that's with it. It's digital. Okay, that, that, that's fine. It gets the Sachi. Oh! We got some next level players over here. Let's go for a Rocky Andy on the Substitute user and go for a Razor Line. 
and we missed the rock candy. Come on, chocolate flop. I'm trying to show people how good you are, and you can't do that when you're missing moves like that. I mean, come on, bruh. Going for a razor leaf here. Hopefully, that'll be enough to break the substitute. Not very effective. Oh, yeah, it's lemon. Oh, uh, it's lime. Oops, my bad. Alright, so that was kind of bad. Lemon's gonna go for a multi slap. He's gonna do next to nothing, which I can't see why, because, I mean, it's got no hands. So I mean, <laughs> we're gonna go for Rock King again, another razor line. Can we land this one? Alright, there we go. Alright, substitute took the damage. And it broke. Let's go. Chuck Fluff. Next hit. There we go. That's Chocolate Fluff for you. Rock Candy, honestly, is like one of the most busted moves in this game just because, um, even though it's like Rock Blast, I mean, it still does pretty well. Iron Shock, though, is not very, it's resistant because we are Cherry types, so that's pretty cool. You know, for a Razor Line, which is super effective against Orange types, honestly, honestly, oh, <laughs> honestly, Orange types is pretty bad in this game because it has four weaknesses. It's weak for the primary three types of Strawberry, Cherry, and, uh, Strawberry, cherry, and uh, apple, and then wheat to lime as well. So, you know, you know what they say about sailors and battling. I got this. What do they say? What do they say? They suck, or they just suck at fishy sentences. It's a candix. A big wild candy, level twenty-one. Eh, not too bad. And I just realised that uh, chocolate fluff and uh, chocolate wool have Pidgey and Pidgeot's cry. So I'm guessing Candoros. I can't remember. Has uh, uh, Pidgeot's right. But Rock Candy is super effective against uh, Strawberry type there. Cherry is super effective against Strawberry. Oh, come on, dude. Come on, man. And he's increasing his defense. So let's go ahead and go for a Mud Pie. So you guys can actually see a Mud Pie. Chocolate Stab. I know it's not super effective. Oh, God. Damn. Oh, that sucks. Balls. Come on, Chuck Fluff! Come on! Come on! Tackle! Takes out the candies. I'll say, I will say, shiny candies in this game does look pretty nice. I will say that. It looks very nice. Alright, so that is those two sailors taken care of. And I still have yet to find out what they say about sailors and battling, but at this point, I don't give a fuck. Oh, hello. I like feisty kids like you. How the hell can you know I'm feisty? I just walked into your room. That's like someone walks into the room. You're, you're an idiot. How do you know? You just saw the guy walk in your room. And we've got a Mintonite and a Cube Pop against Chocolate Fluff and Mintonite. Alright, so Cherry. Well, I know the Mintonite is Cherry and Lime. So let's go for a Rock Candy and Cube Pop. And let's go for a Bubble because if I do recall from our episode a couple of episodes ago, uh, Mintonites don't like uh, Apple types. So. You know, they don't like those apple tosses or those bubbles or the gum bubblers as my Candino struggled to die to. It's a flame goose. Level 24 though. Okay, so these levels are not, they're starting to climb up. So they're not, they're not as bad. But that Midsonite takes that bubble like a champ. Good God. And Midsonite goes for a bubble. And that's going to be super effective on... Oh, it's super effective Chocolate Block too. Wait a second. Yeah, uh, Candida was strawberry and vanilla, and then a cherry and a cherry and strawberry wheat of apple. Huh? I didn't even just I just realized that. Uh, that kind of makes it weird. Uh, let's go for a bite on the mid but we're gonna go for rock candy, and we missed it. Come on, chocolate fluff, don't do this, buddy. Oh my god, Blank is gonna go for that hunger dust, though. Oh boy. Making us uh, mighty hungry. Making chocolate puffs mighty hungry. And Mintonite's nice exchange bites. And uh, chocolate puffs just goes for a bit of a hum num. This has been hum num. Nah, we don't want to do that. Don't do that. Let's go for a bite and another rock candy. And we land it. Thank goodness. And this is stab. But the thing is that chocolate puff is calm nature, which sucks. Oh my god. Come the fuck on! Alright, well at least Mitsunite's down, but this uh, Flame Goose here is starting to really annoy me right now because he's just not dying. So I'm going to go for a growth. Uh, okay. Let's go for a little bit of a nom on ourselves. Just, you know, nom, nom. You, know you, you, you know we've all done that, but we've tried to eat ourselves. Alright, so <laughs> let's go for a quick attack and that should be enough to get rid of the Flame Goose. Awesome. 
All right, so we get some experience. Chocolate Blast reaches level 28. Let's go. And Midfight also gets a bit of experience as well. Fantastic. All right. Arr, I lost. Arr. That's what you get for assuming. And sorry about that, guys. Just having a bit of a communication problem there. You know, just, um, don't know what was going on there for a second. And I'm getting all these errors. Can we not do this, please? So let's go ahead and, um, let's go for a super potion over here on... There you go, Chuck Fluff. You guys have a little Chuck Fluff potion there. There we go. Alrighty. Let's go for an antidote now to get rid of that. Um, there we go. Okay. Let's get the sun over here. It's an ether. Alright. Let's leave here and let's, let's move on. Let us move on. Oh, of course. So I heard you like mud pies. Speaking of mud pies, I have two chocolate cherry types that would love to serve it up. That would be my chocolate fluff and my chuck saw. Gumble and Cubby. Alright, so that is a vanilla type with a cherry type. So let's go for a uh, mud pie and a razor line. Get that damage though. And now we're going to go for that, uh, that lime, razor line. Let's do this. Neutral hit, down goes the gumball. Cubby goes for sprinkles. I don't like that. I don't want you to make mommy start blind. Let's go for a quick attack and let's go for a water gun. That should get rid of this copy. There's a helping hand, but there's nothing to really help, so. You know, I don't get it. Water gun, go! And down goes the copy. Sorry about that, copy. I didn't mean to do that to you. Actually, I didn't mean that to you. To do that to you. Chef Huey! Okay, you're not bad. Well, gee, thanks for the compliment. I do appreciate that. It's team three four contains zest, which is like rest in this game here. So you know, nothing but the nothing but the finest for rest. All right, so let's move along over here. Uh, we've got two fishermen here. All right, let's have a see what we got here. Hello, stranger. I can't tell if you're from the seas or mountains, but stop and chat and have a Pokemon battle while we're at it. Okay, sure, Mister Fisherman. Let's do this. Three Pokemon: Lime Shroom and Lime Shroom. That executes cry on Lime Shroom. Alright, so I'm guessing they're both Lime types. Let's go for a Rock Candy and let's go for a. Uh, let's go for a Water Gun. See if that's super effective on Lime type. Ooh, Lime resists the Cherry types. Okay, okay. I get you. I get you. I get you. I get you. Let's see if. Uh, well. Let's see if. Um, Water Gun is neutral, Cherry Seed is going to go off, so are they Lime only, or Uproar, that is, that is Vanilla. But unfortunately, we've been Leak Seeded right now, so that's not fun at all. Um, we're trying to go for a different move, let's go for a Mud Pie on this Lime Shroom, and a Water Gun once again on this Lime Shroom. So we're trying to get rid of these Lime Shrooms, ALMOST! Almost dies. That is unfortunate. I'm gonna go for a water gun. And that's gonna do some good damage. But barrage comes through. What the hell's barrage? That's two times. It looks to be just a vanilla type move. And this lime shroom over here just keeps going for uproar. So really this this lime shroom is just keeps getting a lot of health from my damn thing over here. So let's go for a quick attack over there and a Bubble and see if that should do the damage. So quick attack does the damage. Bubble's gonna come through. Is gonna get the kill on these two lime shrooms. Oh, it's resisted. Oh my god! What the hell? Lime resists everything. It resists cherry. Resists um, apple because the bubble is apple type. Um, what the hell? And last Pokemon he has is a Gumballer. Oh my god! This asshole. And goes for reflect. Oh my god! Now, this Gumballer is both a Blueberry type and a Cherry type. I think it's the added type for its evolution. So, uh, let's go for a Mud Pie, and let's go for a- WAIT! No! Not Bubble again! It's gonna be resisted by both! Oh my gosh! Okay, it goes for Soften. That's not too bad. That's not too bad. 
So I'm just trying to get rid of this damn lime shroom because this lime shroom keeps getting health back off my damn chocolate fluff through leg seed. And I don't appreciate that! I don't appreciate my Pokemon getting beat on like that. Oh, super effective! That was a critical hit too! Holy shit! Okay! <sighs> Barrage again. My god! This lime shroom just wants to rape my freaking chocolate fluff! Just stop! Please! I mean, if you look at the top of this lime shroom, it looks like a butthole, but please, just stop! Alright, I'm gonna go for a, uh... Mud pie and a water gun on this damn fucking lime shroom. So, could please do me a favor and just go away? God damn it, live that! Jesus, fuck! Lime shroom, go away! Thank you! God damn, this fucking lime shroom, Jesus! And Mince might reach another 28! Hey! Gumball, it keeps going to soften though. That I don't like. Alright, so, it is cherry and blueberry. So, I'm gonna swap out the chocolate fluff and bring in Cream Tuff, just because I don't know what he wants to do to me. And we'll go for a razor lime, because it's cherry and uh, blueberry. I wonder if it resists them. Don't know. Raise line come through. It's super effective. There you go. And down goes the the gumballer. Everyone gets a bit of experience. That's nice. Very nice. Darn, let that one get away. Alright, let's go ahead and try to train up someone else here. Alright, let's see, let's see, let's see here. Uh let's bring in. Cream Tub. Cream Tub looks pretty nice. Like I said, I do like to train all my Pokemon up at the same pace. So, you know. So we've got the Chef over here. Alright, oh, the Chef wants to throw it out. Matey, you're walking the plank if you lose. Well, I don't plan on losing, so you're on, buddy. So this sailor is here. Chef Phil wants to fight. Wants to throw down. It's a rat cake here. Holy shit, that's level 30! Good God! Let's go for a sing. Oh boy, uh, see please? Oh my god. Come on, Cream Tough, put this bitch to sleep! It's so scary. What a scary face. Alright, so... Speed fell, which is not too bad. There's a single lens. Let's go. Let's go. Alright, so this Raticate is now asleep. Alright! Let's go ahead, let's go for a defense call. And then a rollout. And then that is an equation of two rollouts. And at least then, we are increasing our defenses at the same time. Roll out time! And that Raticate stays asleep. Fantastic. Roll out! There we go. We are building on it. Raticate stays asleep. Great! Roll out again! Woo! Take it out, that Raticate. It's still asleep, and it's not going to be awake to see its death. I think it's better that way. Oh, but we missed the last rollout. Oh, that sucks really bad. It woke up. Of course it would. Goes for milky water. What the hell? Oh, I think that's like muddy water in this game. Pound will get the damage and kills the Raticate. Woohoo! Let's go! Cream Tough, get that level up, though. Let's go. Well deserved, Cream Tough. Well deserved. Beaten by a kid. No, you're beaten by Cream Tough. Bitch. So let's go ahead and swap around here. Let's go ahead and put Burt to that front. Love me some Burtzel. So, everyone seems to be doing pretty well. So, uh, leave a comment down below and tell me what your favorite type is in Pokemon Suite and why. Now we can get through some of these rooms over here. Oh, there's an old man. Hello. I am but a solitary traveler. My sole companions are friends of Poker Suites. Oh, my solitary friends are friends. Our friends are Poker Suites. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense there. Yeah, our friends are Poker Suites. Alright, so Cupcat and Cupcat. Level's 23. Okay, now it's level starting to, like I said. I mean, we had that level 30 Raticate, now we're starting to get some level the Uh, Chot, uh... Oh yeah, that's the Sunny Day. That improves the power of orange-type moves. So, um... Is it worth doing it, though? Not really. But we can go for a Glaze, paralyze one of them, and then I could just, uh... Cherry Seed the other, just to set up on these things here. I think that definitely sounds like a plan because Cupcats are defensive as fuck. Get that glazed, though. 
Get that paralysis. Let's go. Cop Cat uses bite. And Cop Cat uses scratch. Alright. Now we just do a bit of a flipper room. Now we just glaze the other one. And we just leaf seed the other one. So let's go for a glade on the other one. Let's go for a cherry seed on the other. So now that Trocosaur is A-OK -okay for health. Because the both Cup Cats will now take be feeling the effects of it. So just whittling it down, you know, just whittling it down. Cup Cat has the bite, still fights through, don't know how, don't know why. That's all taking a little bit of damage, more than I would like, but we can go ahead and spend the turn healing it up. Or actually, we can just keep going because uh, eventually one of them does have to take a turn for paralysis. Let's go for a orange shock and let's go for a liquid on this one here. Liquid whip and orange shock. Let's go. Taking a bit of damage. There's the paralysis that I was talking about. There we go. Taking that paralysis though, and Lick Seed should be enough to get the kill in this Cupcat. Will it be enough though? Survey says... Nope, it'll just live. Alright, so really now we can just focus on the other one now because the Cherry Seed damage will be enough to get the kill on that uh, Cupcat right there. So, we're taking them down people, we're taking them down. Guess for a little scratch, eh, guess for a little scratch, guess for a bite. Chuckle Saw now is starting to feel the effects of it, but at this rate it looks like this Cupcat is going to live on just enough there, as we can see there, to take one more hit and then they'll be yeah, us for the game. So, we're playing the strategy game right there. Down goes one Cupcat, starting to get those levels. And I'm going to go for a bite and I'm going to go for a Fudge Slap. I am trying to sort our speeds are floats alone. I'm, oh, birds, well, sorry. In this situation, I mean, they're both the same level. You would think that, uh, I mean, if it's supposed to be like Floatzel and Ivasaur, that Floatzel would actually have speed by far, because Floatzel is like really fast. Alright, so we're going to get into the next room over here. What are we going to find here? Oh, there's a lady. Hello, lady. You look tired. Would you like to rescue? Yes, please. Oh my goodness, that would be terrific. I'm glad to see that everyone's looking refreshed and chipper. Oh, thank you, sweetie. You're such a sweetie. You've heard one sweet. You don't expect sweet. And we see an old man greeting at the door. You it's the pup. How dare you barge in? Sir, I didn't see the lube on the table. I'm sorry, okay? I didn't mean to barge in. God damn. Lock your damn door next time so that we don't have this embarrassing situation. My God. Alright, so we got ourselves a Bambi and a Bambine. So these are banana types over here. So let's go for a uh, Orange Shock and let's go for a Liquid Whip on the Bambi. That is a neutral hit. Orange Shock. It's super effective! Woo! Look at that damage though! Yo! Horn attack. Uh, a little bit of damage. Uh, Life Peeler, which I'm guessing is a banana type. You know, Peeler. <laughs> Peel. And banana types. <laughs> so I'm gonna go for an Orange Shock on the Bambi, I'm gonna go for a Fudge Slap on the Bambine, and that should finish off both these mods here. Down goes the Bambine. 334, 334. Whipped and Chocosaur is level 28. Let's go! And Iron Shot goes through. We should get the kill on the Bambi. Although, I would like to find out from the creator what brought him to the conclusions of weaknesses for typings, you know? Like, why everything is so effective against Orange and then Orange is super effective against Banana. Like, I, I, I would like to know the reasoning behind just, just, just for curiosity's sake. Uh, let's see here. Wait, I'm going to cherry pie, please. Uh, ma'am, we don't have cherry pies, we're in sweet lanes. Little girl running around. I always travel with cream tough. I never leave home without it. A water cruise is so elegant and cozy. Hey, cream tough, meet my cream tough. Hey. Bonjour, I am the wait on the ship. I will be happy to serve you anything you please. Ah, let's strong silent type. Um. Uh, okay, silent type, sure. I collected these sweets from all around the world. Alright, let's check out what this little girl has. Seriously, that pose though. Uh, Scherzel and Gummy Ursa. So, Lime is uh, sweet to banana, I do know that. Uh, don't know if it's weak, Lime and Orange. Some reason I don't see Orange being super effective with Lime. But let's go for a little whip on the Scherzel. Which will be super effective, there we go. 
down goes the uh, the orange type. Uh, now I'm going to see if orange is super effective against uh, lime types. It is! Okay! I don't know why, but okay! Works for me. It works for me. Oh yeah, I forgot we're going to swap out uh, Trumpetor because we're going to get um, the other Pokemon to level 28. So let's go ahead and swap around here. Let's go ahead and uh, put Raticate now up the top there. There we go. Alright. Got this iron here. It's TMK1. It's Brick Break. Ooh! Nice! Let's go! Uh, TMK, so let's have a looky. So we've got Bullet Man, Pound, Brick Break, and Zest. Zest is basically the rest. So Brick Break. Who can learn Brick Break? Uh, Creep Tough can learn Brick Break. Uh, but no one else wants to learn it. Um, do I really want to teach a Brick Break? I mean, it's a chocolate type move, and Cream Tough really has no other moves. I mean, uh, it has Rollout, so really there's no need to teach a Brick Break. So, oh crap, I ran this guy. Damn it. I love dessert, do you? Yeah, I do too. What's your favorite? Apple! Youngster Tyler sends out a Bambi. Well, don't we have the perfect Pokemon for you? Let's go for a Orange Shock! Sorry, Bambi. Down it goes. And down goes the Bambi. We get some more experience. And Bertzel's level 28. Let's go! One for an Orange Wave. Oh, so that's Thunder Wave. So we can get rid of Blaze because Blaze is 75% accurate, whereas Orange Wave is 100% accurate. I mean, you know, if you want a 100% move to paralyze and 75%, it's like trying to learn Sleep Powder over Spore. You would rather Spore, right? Because Spore is 100% accurate, of course. So now we'll put Raticate up front now, just in case Raticate has to go pick a single Pokemon here. So let's continue on our voyage on the SS Banana. Hey, big guy, what's up? Oh man, I ate too much. Yep, that says it all. Alright, so we're gonna... No, I don't want to visit the fat man again, okay? There's one right here. I need to have a look at someone else that's going through the same problem. Alright, let's have a look what's in these bins here. Now, I do know there's a grape ball in one of them. Oh, peach berry. Okay, that's cool. Anything else? Oh, cherry berry. Okay, we've got some more berries over here. And a chester berry. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. Oh, that's a gift. That's a grape ball. Hey, that's the grape ball I was talking about because Normally in the game, they only have the one Great Ball in the one bin, but this game they added berries and then put the Great Ball as a separate uh, thing there. This ship, she is a luxury liner for all. None are denied invitation. Well, you'd have a lot of bad people on here if that's the case though, but your ship, you know. Oh, hello. It's a little, uh, it looks like low honey, but it's pink. Good day! Are you enjoying yourself? I'm Chocobun! Pleased to meet you! Mm -hmm. Oh yes! I did create everything in this world! Wow, we talk about God. So this is the God of Pokemon Sweet. It is Chocobun. Isn't it wonderful? I want everyone to be happy and full of sweets. Here, unfortunately everyone's gone inside for dessert. I know, you should come and eat with my sister and I. She could really use the company, I think. Oh no, it's the gay pirates. Yar! What be this? There ain't supposed to be anyone there! Ah! It's you! The Black Sugar Pirates! The Black Sugar Pirates? Really? Uh, okay. That be correct, Missy! Now be gone or you'll be walking the plank! No way! This is my banana boat! Banana boat gets a protection! Banana boat gets a Banana boat! Yes, I know. Yar, then you be the one, the only Chocobon! Yar, you there! You best be walking away quietly. She's out of catch. Okay, so these guys are threatening to kick off Chocobon. He's trying to kick off a god off their own boat. Also, it's pretty ballsy. So Pirate Dark sent in a Rata Cake and an Aria Cake. Ooh, those rhymes. So, raspberry and strawberry blueberry type. So, uh, I'm just trying to remember. Now, strawberry would be a bit weak if it actually had any strawberry type moves. Um, I'm going to go for a hyper famous eradicate. I'm going to go for a a Sunday, I guess. We can try and showcase the Sunday. Hyper Fang takes effect. It does a lot of damage. And Sunday has been activated. The sunlight got harsh. 
Radicake is really trying to slow down my Radicake over here. Yeah, you saw it. And Aricake goes for Tacky Rat. Oh boy. So we're really talking about that speed reduction in this round over here today. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go for a... Um, well, Sunlight's still strong because of Sunday being activated. Let's go for a quick attack on the Radicake. Let's go for an Orange Shock on the Aria Cake. And quick attack, get the kill the Radicate! Cake. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! One more Pokemon left, it's a Minta Star. Hey! Now that doesn't actually look too bad. Why does it keep doing this? Stop that! At least you get hungry. But now Orange Shock's gonna take effect. It's now powered by the power of the Sunday. Now, Cherry Lime, I'm trying to remember. So, Orange is not super effective against it, so I'm going to go for a Hyper Fang on that. And we're going to go for another Orange Shock on the Aria Cake. Stop going for Hunger Touch and trying to make us hungry! That was a crit! At least he didn't get the freaking thing. At least he didn't get us- Oh my god, are you serious now? Really now? Okay. Radicate goes for a Hyper Fang, Arthi withdraws, which means it's going to do- Yep, that's right. Nothing. The Sunlight is still strong though, so let's go for a quick attack on Aria Cake and an Orange Shock on the Minter Star. Now I know it is resistant, but we are under Sunlight, so the power should be boosted. So let's go for an Orange Shock under the Sun. It's resistant, yeah, it doesn't look good damage. That is kind of booty. But it's going to go for a Bite. But it's funny because Minter Stars don't have a now, so... Well, not this one anyway. Uh, let's go for a Hyper Fang, let's go for a Bite on this Minta Star here. Get a bit of damage on there. Water Gun's going to go now. Yeah. We are Blueberry, so that is resisted. So, Hyper Fang going to come through. And it's going to live on just a slither. Oh my god. Quick attack, and we'll go for a Bite. And that should be the end of this Minta Star. Okay. Please, go. Fuck yourself. Thank you. Come again. And we defeat Pirate Dart. Abandon ship! Abandon ship! Good thinking, good thinking. Phew, they jumped! Thank you! They attacked this boat on occasion. They rarely get anywhere, but my sister, she doesn't like humans. It's because of guys like them. I think if she were in charge, humans wouldn't be allowed here. But I want everyone to be happy, including humans. What a thoughtful god. Sorry, I mean Bramley must be a sugar high. <laughs> Here, you should have this. HMO2. Ooh, that's fly. That's an I'm a teacher's move, fly. If you have the right badge, you can fly anywhere instantly. Go anywhere in this wonderful land of ours. Oh, that's so thoughtful. Thank you very much for that. Your support is greatly appreciated. So, uh, we've got fly. That's pretty cool. You don't get fly to like later in game, but we've got it now, so. I've journeyed far and wide, but in all my travels, I've never seen any poker streets like this one. It was something like this. Ah, that'd be the mighty small axe. Ah, yes, I don't want to freaking ask you again. Jesus. Oh, Jesus Christ. Alright, so, <laughs> we're going to make our way to these other here. Do some more battles here to finish up. I love to bob for apples. Um, me too. I don't know how to respond to that, okay? Uh, Caratorb and Caratorb. Alright, so we're going to sell some little Altorbs or Caratorbs. Right, okay, and Bursal is here. Let's go for a Hyper Fang on one and a Bite on the other because I do know they both resist orange. Hyper Fang come through. Let's go. Critical hit. Critical hit. Let's go. Alrighty. Uh, next Pokemon to come in is a Caratrode. Level 23. So, really, I think we should have done this before we took on the Gym Leader, but. You know, it worked out for us either way, so we'll go for a quick attack and let's go for a bite on this Caratrode. Sorry, it's got an itchy, itchy nose here. God damn it. Alright, so let's go for a bite on this Caratrode. Does about half. Lemon drop. Uh, I was going to say, that's orange, I'm pretty sure. But it says lemon, so it must be a lemon type moon. Quick attack, and a bite should be enough to finish off this Caratrode. Down it goes. 492, Radicate level 28. Let's go! Everyone's level 28 here. Fantastic. And we defeated Fisherman Dale. Alright, I'm all out. Well, I'm sorry. I can't help that. 
All right, so let's go ahead and put uh, Burt on the back. Now, Burt was a little bit damaged to an extent. We'll bring back Chocolate Fluff. Let's go Chocolate Fluff. Another old man. Competing against this young keeps me youthful. Uh, okay, whatever helps you sleep at night. Uh, another explorer. The Gentleman Brooks. Uh, oh yeah, they got rid of the Gentleman Sprite because that's the admin for Team Sour. Popstitude is here though. Let's go for a Hyperfange. Hopefully this will be enough to take you out for Popstitude. Popstitude! Yeah, let's go. God damn it! Every fucking time! Seriously! Every time I use Hyperfange! On a rate on the freaking popsitude. It's just static. Or ricicle. They're just static bitches. And we found another super potion. Alright. Let's just continue on this voyage over here. Let's have a look in here. Uh I could fly anywhere if I had had a chumo too. Uh oh, there's so much milk in the ocean. Well, no dirt. Um, actually, fun fact, uh, in this game, hate is actually removable. Oh. I don't believe I saw you at the party. What party? Can you show me where the party is? Ugh. Let's go. Last Dawn has a Rattata and a Popsitude. Yeah, we really should have, uh, done this before we took on the gym here. But, I mean, I'm not going to complain about progressing through. Let's go for a Mud Pie on this Rattata. On this Ratchet Tart. Mud Pie come through and it lives. Of course it does. Of course it does. Ratchet Tart goes for a tail wag to bring down our defenses. That's cool. Alright. Get that defense drop. Uh, okay, so Hyper Fang comes through. Let's go! Down goes the pop chew! Pop chew! Alrighty, so let's continue. Quick attack and a quick attack. Why not? A double quick attack. Just because we can. Why not? You know? Why the hell not? A double quick attack is enough to take out that bitch of that ratatart. And last one is like, oh, take it easy. When I'm strutting for you, take it easy. Well, let's see what this item is. It is an X attack. That is so pointless. Good god. Alright, let's uh, continue. Dad, I want some ice cream! Uh, my girl eats any more ice cream. Her brain might freeze. Oh, oh, oh! That, that, that's the thought. And I think this one's got two girls staring at each other. Yep. So that is not a battle. So, our only option now is to go up here and no rival. Okay, normally you have a rival back here, but that's not... Oh! Um, hello? There's a Oh, this must be the sister of, um, Chocobun here. Hmm? No, I'm not Chocobun. That's my sister. I'm Dark Chocobun. Ah, dark chocolate. Hey, dark chocolate. I get you. My sister's at the party now, so go see her already. God damn. She really hates humans. Fuck. So I'm such a racist. You know, they say... <laughs> just, I mean, she is really technically a racist. But she doesn't like humans, but she likes her own kind. You know, I don't like your kind. Damn racist. God damn. So let's just leave here. Does it mean the boat leaves now? Nope, it just stays there. Okay, so... Uh, we've done all that we can, and that pirate should be gone. Yes, it is. Alright, so we'll go ahead and heal up, and I think we've got a few encounters to get before this episode comes to an end. So I definitely think we should get some encounters first, before we end this episode. I think that would be good. So let's go ahead over here. Let's go over here. Let's go over there. Get up our Pokemon. That's kind of cool. There we go. And we're back outside, because of the speed up button. You're welcome. Uh, and let's get some encounters. Let's go ahead and see what kind of Pokemon we can find here. I mean, there's a few trainers we can face in the next episode, but for now, let's just go ahead and get ourselves some encounters. So, let's go ahead over here. Our encounter for this area is... It's a Tortuig! Yo! Let's go! It's a Chuck. Let's go Chuckasaur! Let's go for a Hunger Dust, because now we are way too hard enough to do anything. Uh, Torture Week. Grout's not going to work on us, but I'm sure this Hunger Dust will work on you pretty well. Ooh, sorry Torture Week, but man, I love Torture Week. This is awesome. Let's go. Oh, we've got some sort of Torture Week. Torture Week! Yeah, do like the cry for it. 
Uh, let's get into our bag. Let's go ahead and use a sweet ball. We've got a great ball as well. But let's go ahead and use a sweet ball on this torture week here. Let's go. Oh, he wants to kick out. Okay, that's not cool. So I think we'll uh, go for a leg seat now. Oh, cherry seat. I'm sorry. Sorry. We're talking Poker Sweet terms. We're going to use a cherry seat here, not a leg seat. That's full of Pokemon. We're in Poker Sweet Lane. Double kick. Oh, that's chocolate. Uh, okay, uh, okay, not bad, not bad at all. But we're gonna get that leg seed off the torture week, and we're gonna see that hunger come through as well. So, torture week is slowly getting whittled down now. Let's go ahead and try another sweet ball, just in case we can actually catch this torture week. Let's go one, two, three. Yay! I love that. Alright, so we got ourselves a Tortui. Let's have a look at Tortui. Tortui, the lemon sweet. Its head resembles a large lemon. The back of its shell is coated in meringue to get a flavor. Alright. Okay, we got the Tortui. So if we lose someone, I would definitely be interested in getting that pokey sweet. Alright. Chocolate cave. Alright, so we can get some more access to chocolate types over here. So, this leads back to the uh, Pudding City, but we don't need to go there because there's no reason to go there. But, our encounter is... <gasps> it's a banana bee! Yay! One of my favourite po poker sweets in this game. Let's go! Alright, so we're going to do the exact same thing to this banana bee. If we can land a move, that is. You guys miss sprinkles, but sprinkles doesn't work on the buddy banana bee. Doesn't work. Doesn't work like that. Alright, so let's spin stuff. You guys for dig! Oh my god, you bitch! Uh, dig is banana type, I'm assuming, because I mean, we resisted it. Alright, let's go for a sweet ball. Let's go! Let's go! We got some banana bee! Woot! Alright, we got some banana bee! Banana bee, the banana sweet, hatches from chocolate eggs, although it does not fully break out of its egg immediately after birth. Okay, so you can say it's kind of a Easter egg. Our captured banana bee, we're gonna just keep that there. Alright, so, we got some pretty sweet Pokemon. <laughs> we got some pretty sweet Poker Sweets, sorry. So, in the next episode, we'll take on all the trainers en route over here. And then, we should be good to go back to Cerulean City and get ourselves our bike pass and head toward that new cave. So, I will say thank you very much for watching this episode today. If you enjoyed today's episode, make sure you hit the like button down below for us because, as always, your support is always and will be greatly appreciated. And I've already said what we're going to do in the next episode, so until next time I see you guys, stay safe, stay sharp, and I'll catch you guys all next time. Later!